Welcome to the print. We have with us Neha Shah, a consulting psychologist who has trained over 75,000 people over the decade. She's here to talk to us about her book, What Shape Are You? So, Sneha, just jump right into it. Tell us about psychogeometrics and how we can understand people better by understanding these shapes. Right. Uh, so, the whole premise of the book, What Shape Are You? Uh, is on the fact that 75% of people that we meet in this lifetime are going to be different from us. Okay. You yeah. know, so uh, do you have a sibling? I do, I do actually. Yeah. I have two siblings. Yeah, so if you would notice that, um, are your siblings very different from you? They are. They are, right? So despite the fact that, you know, you have the same parents, you are in a similar environment, they are still different from you. Yes. So it's like people whom we work with, people whom we are married to, the families that we come in contact with, the colleagues that we work with, 75% of them are going to be different from us. So it is, we don't have a way of understanding these differences, right. you know, so we tend to judge people, we tend to get critical, we tend to get triggered. So this book gives a sense of how do you understand people, right. how do you understand yourself and how do you learn to deal with everybody around you better. Right. So Susan, Dr. Susan Dellinger gave this theory of psychogeometrics. Yes. According to that, there are five shapes. Yes. Box, rectangle, circle and squiggle. That's right. And there's also triangle. Triangle, So yes. would you briefly tell us how we can differentiate between these shapes? Yes. So it's like the universe of people around us right. can be divided into five shapes. And there is no sixth shape. You know, so it's five shapes and the fact is that we are all five shapes in a little bit. So we have a right. little bit of circle in us, we have a little bit of triangle in us, we have a little bit of box in us, but we are dominant one or two shapes. Okay. And that defines our personality. So boxes are the most organized of all the shapes. Can we, can we uh, name a box in the universe that most of us are aware of like uh, say a politician can you name a politician that is you know so if we really uh, i don't follow politics as much yeah. but if we had to look at a box politician i will put it in comparison so okay. if you look at uh, narendra modi yeah. he's essentially a triangle and i'll tell you what the triangle is yes. but dr manmohan singh was a box okay you know so a box is somebody who's very knowledgeable very organized right. very structured will follow a certain protocol, will work within an ethical framework, right. lot of rules. They are also extremely loyal people, hmm. you know, but boxes also have a tendency of becoming perfectionists. Right. So you will have structured, organized, they will have a routine that they follow. You know what a box's belief is? It says that if I can make life predictable and organized, then I'm comfortable. Okay. You know, so your box is essentially, if it's a box woman at home, she will have like uh, everything in the kitchen in its right place. Right. You know, things are labeled. Uh, so a man will have cupboard, which is completely organized, you know, so uh, shirts are color coded. Everything right. is kept in files. Will follow a routine of when to wake up, when to sleep. They are also very cautious. Right. So boxes will not make impulsive decisions. They will plan for the future, they will evaluate, they will do everything. So Dr. Manmohan Singh, if you see, there's a bit of introversion, mm. very thoughtful, everything is based on knowledge, right. you know, and lot of loyalty towards a certain group. So that's the way a box will be. How is Modi a triangle and what is a triangle? Actually? What is a triangle? And that brings us, so while a box is an extremely practical, a very logical shape, triangle is also practical, but okay. they are very ambitious. So a triangle will have a goal right. and they will work towards the goal with a lot of focus. Okay. You know, so while a box is all about following the process, right and wrong, and you know, do it, you know, there is always a structure, a process. Right. A triangle says, doesn't matter how you do it, I just get it done. Okay. So triangles are all about the bottom line, you know, so they are the ones who will be ambitious, uh, very quick decision making, you know, always focused on achieving the goal. Right. They are also going to be competitive. They are absolutely okay. They are very direct and blunt. Mm. So whatever a triangle thinks, they are going to tell you. 
just the way it is right also i had this question since uh, the the demand of the calling as mm. a politician do you think some traits will be similar yes. among yes. every in every politician yes yes i did see that so you know when i was thinking about it a lot of politicians have a triangle trait okay you know because there is a sense of strong sense of achievement you know wanting to fight it against all odds uh, okay to deal with failure and you know still bounce back right. you know so and also being extremely triangles also have a little bit of tendency to be self centered to an extent hmm. where they are very focused on their own goals and they will do everything to reach that that goal right so sometimes at the cost of the emotions and everything of other people right yeah. so can can you name a a squiggle a famous personality a celeb indian celebrity any politician absolutely so a a quintessential squiggle is ranveer singh first we need to tell people what yeah, a squiggle is yeah so you know so i think people buy the idea so when you really think of Ran- ranveer singh you have it yeah. so so squiggles are actually the most uh, spontaneous right ideas oriented kind of shape so they hate, they are exactly the opposite of a box right so while a box needs everything structured and organized and following the protocol squiggles are all about breaking the rules Right. you know so they are all about living life on their own terms they are all about high energy spontaneity impulsive very very they are witty hmm. you know so they have a great sense of humor they have excellent energy they are very expressive so a squiggle will experiment with food they will wear um, you know different kind of clothes colorful clothes a, yes and they will make a statement wherever it is that they go So squiggles are somebody you cannot ignore you know right. because they are in your face. Right. So Ranveer Singh is a absolute squiggle. Uh, I also if you look at a celebrity I also feel Deepika Padukone since we are talking about Ranveer Singh. Yes. Uh Deepika Padukone is a lot ex- shows traits of a circle. Circle. Yeah. So circle uh, in my book is that's my shape also. Circle are the most loving of all the shapes. So circles are the ones who are very a uh, very nurturing very caring right. very sensitive you know so for them relationships matter a lot a mm. lot around harmony but because of their sensitivity they also have a tendency to experience things in a very intense way so they can feel love intensely they can feel sadness intensely mm. you know they are uh, and remember 75% of the world is not like you yeah so circles tend to give a lot they sacrifice a lot you know they will take care of other people's needs and when other people are not that way it makes them feel very let down yeah it must hurt yeah it it does hurt it hurts in a very big way so uh i feel that if i look at it sharukh khan naturally i feel has triangle traits because of the achievement the whole self made way that he is but i feel that his whole demeanor also has some circle elements oh wow you know so some yeah, that, that makes that sense. love and you know that that whole people orientedness and you know relationships mattering so uh, but it's a interesting combination because triangle and circle is a opposite energy exactly you know just the way a box and a squiggle is an opposite energy yeah can you be a squiggle at times and then be a box at times can you have days like a squiggle squiggle yes uh so in this case if you are a little bit of all the shapes you know yeah. at times it can happen because of two reasons right one is that you could be the fifth shape which is the rectangle a rectangle is a phase when you go through transition change i have done my homework you've really done your homework yes <laughs> Okay so uh, I think uh, most people would like to know about their favorite cricketers also so yes. what category would you put uh, with say Virat Kohli in Virat Kohli essentially if you know we all know the way his aggression and his you know a determination to get to where he wants to get so a lot of triangle yeah and so Virat Kohli is a triangle but I feel as he's growing he's also learning to manage the triangle energy better okay so what was like these aggressive outbursts initially 
now he's kind of evolving and you know getting more grounded and mm-hmm. sort of so i think it's a beautiful way in which he's growing but if i had to give you an example if we look at sachin tendulkar it's typical box he followed the rules he, it'll it'll be it, you know more than anything boxes can be perfectionist right so he's the kind of a person who will look at a shot over and over again will want to perfect whatever that he's doing may not necessarily be a, a leader hmm. but he will be extremely good as a specialist in his own craft so uh, a strict path to get things done the right way yes that is what's exactly. important for them exactly exactly absolutely and uh, so i feel dhoni also has a triangle but uh, i feel he is emotionally intelligent which means he understands yeah. that people whom he whom who are a part of his team that's why he's been one of the most successful captains he is because he has understood that there will all there will be a triangle virat kohli on the team and also a boxer right. uh, sachin and other shapes and how is it that he's going to have to really kind of work with them in the best possible way thank you so much sneha for indulging me this is sneha shah's book what shape are you it's yeah. available in your bookstores thank you thank you, thank you.